Wireless charging is weird. Like, how does putting one metal thing near another metal thing magically make your phone charge? Witchcraft? Science? Both? In the beginning, humans had sticks and stones. And that was pretty much the entire charging strategy. Sunlight by day, darkness by night, and 0% battery forever. Millennia passed. We invented fire, the wheel, sliced bread, fidget spinners, and of course, proprietary phone cables that fray after just three selfies. Eventually, the collective cry of, why are there so many cords, reached the ears of the tech gods. And thus, wireless charging was born. A little everyday sorcery that ensures you never run out of battery while watching cat memes on TikTok. But how does it actually work? To answer that, we need to go all the way back to... Okay, not that far, just to 1831. That's when Michael Faraday, the king of magnets, discovered electromagnetic induction. He found that moving a magnet near a coil of wire could generate electric current, basically convincing electrons to do the Macarena without ever physically touching them. This long-distance relationship, known as mutual induction, is the magical engine behind wireless charging. So, magnets near coils equals electricity. Got it. But wait, if that's the case, why do we still have to plug our wireless chargers into the wall? Shouldn't the built-in magnets just do their thing when we slap our phones on them? Wrong. Your charging pad doesn't have a tiny army of magnets hiding inside. What it does have is a coil with an alternating current, AC, running through it, constantly flipping direction tens of thousands of times per second. This rapid flip-flopping creates a changing magnetic field, one that pulses like the heartbeat of a hamster on an energy drink binge. In other words, it's Faraday's law, but with a you know reverse card. Instead of a magnetic field creating electricity, we're using electricity to create a magnetic field. When your phone gets close, its own coil enters that magnetic field and bam, Faraday's law activates the classic way. The changing field induces a current in your phone's coil. Of course, that induced current is still wild AC. Chaotic, unpredictable, and definitely not the kind of electricity your phone wants to cozy up to. That's where tiny circuits step in to tame the chaos, transforming it into a smooth, battery-friendly direct current. And there you have it, from sticks and stones to magnets and phones. Every time you casually toss your phone onto a wireless pad, you're tapping into nearly two centuries of electromagnetic brilliance. Also, you can walk away like a wizard. 